Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about dictionary. Dictionaries are the data types that which have key value pairs and dictionaries can be accessed using the keys that is we need to pass the key in order to fetch the value and dictionaries are the unordered collection that is in fact uh, if you see in the list it is having the positional offset that is the indexing is done and it has a particular position and whereas if you see in the dictionaries there is no position and they are totally unordered in that dictionary and next we can do the dictionary that is we can fetch the values of the dictionary by doing mapping and also the dictionaries can be mutable that is it can be changed we can't do concatenation except that we can do mapping that is we can assign or replace the value by using its key and we cannot do the concatenation or repeat uh, or slicing operations etc and next the dictionaries are object referenced so that is the dictionaries are formed by using the hash tables if you see in the list the, they are referenced the object by using the arrays by uh, by having the position of the elements whereas in dictionaries the mapping is done the mapping key is done by using the hashing of table hashing hash tables the mapping is done by using hash tables so your hash tables is a data structure that which is used to retrieve the data fastly so in order to get the value from the dictionary we need to fetch the uh, we need to pass the key value key so it will fetch the value from the original dictionary and the dictionary is denoted by i mean it is the dictionaries are represented by using flower braces so let us take a empty dictionary d that is equal to this flower brace so when we print the type type of that dictionary variable d so we get the output as dict class so here we get the class as dictionary class so if you take the simple dictionary like uh, actually the dictionaries consist of key value pairs that is key and value so key and value is separated by using this colon and it consists of key value pairs and each key value pairs are called as items so we can call it as items and let us take the dictionaries like name and the name uh, like uh, any name and we can separate by using comma and take another entry in the dictionary suppose we take age so here we had a dictionary and having the two entries like name and name is the key and Ramesh is a value and similarly age is a key and 21 is a value and we can also take the sorry he need here not equal to here it's colon key value pair is separated by using colon and next we can also take the keys like integers suppose we take 20 and we set the value as quantity So this is how we can form a dictionary and also we can do nested dictionaries and we can set the values as dictionaries and loops I mean lists etc. So first of all we look basics if you print this dictionary we get the dictionary like this. So in order to fetch the values by passing the key we need to use these square brackets and we need to pass the key like if you pass the name and when we run it we get the output as Ramesh that is the value of the dictionary and if you pass like H we get the output as 21 and if you pass the integer value key as 20 we get the output as quantity so this is how the mapping will be done in the dictionary so we can also change this values of the dictionary suppose if we want to change the 
or if you want to replace this value like uh, Ramesh so we can change like we need to pass the key name and is equals to first of all we should remove this and we will assign the dictionary of the key is Suresh so when we print the dictionary we get the replaced value as Suresh so this is how the dictionaries are mutable so that we can change them and by using the key we can change the values or items by using key next if you want to clear the dictionary so simply we can do d dot clear so it's written on So when we print the dictionary after clearing, so we will get the empty dictionary. This is the empty dictionary which have no items. And next we will see the two dictionary items like we take the dictionary and in this we will pass color and the value we will take as another dictionary. So here we taking the next dictionary more than one dictionary and in this we will have like uh, like uh, colors we have like light color and dark colors and uh, in this dictionary we took that light color as a key and we pass the values as and we separate the each entries by using comma and we take another entry and sub, uh, the items will be separated by using colon key and value pairs So like this here we took the one of the dictionary and in this dictionary we have another dictionary next dictionary so the color is a primary key and here in color we took another dictionary so here light color is a key and dark color is a key and the values for these are light green and brown so this is just an example in order to understand so when we print in order to print this if you pass this we, we need to pass the first uh, key that is color and uh, we need to pass if you print this we simply get the remaining value of the dictionary the, we will get the value as the dictionary so this is the value that we give in order to access this value dictionary so we need to take another square bracket and we need to pass the key as like uh, light green so when we run it we get it as sorry i give wrong key name it's not light green light color so when we run it we get the output as light so so when we run it we get the output as light green so this is how we can access the values in the next dictionaries and similarly we can also access this dark one also so when we run it so it's underscore we'll get output as brown so this is how we can access the next dictionary and we can also represent the dictionaries as another type like uh, there are many ways to represent the dictionaries so we can also use the function like dict so by using this we can represent the dictionary like uh, we will take name is equals to so here in this model we will just uh, use the dictionary function and uh, there will be no assignment of 
flower brackets and here the key value pairs will be separated by using equals to and there will be no the, 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 it will be like uh, assignment assignment operator and next uh, we will take the name as and h is equals to so when this is how we can represent the dictionaries like another way so this is also forms the dictionary so when we print the dictionary d so it will give the dictionary form like name is a key and ram is the value and age is a key and value is 22 so we can also access the dictionary as same as just now we did it and another way is like having the list so if you have a list one have the group of uh, key keys so let us take this key list and uh, the key list has like uh, dog comma cat cow so let us assume that we have a key list like this and uh, values values list like the sound they produce so assume like this uh, there is an example like this there are key list and value list so in order to make a dictionary we can just uh, have assignment like d is equals to dictionary of we need to pass the key val key list and value list so this makes a dictionary so when we print the d so before converting into the dictionary so when we run it yes we got error so after this we need to take so in order to get the dictionary we need to zip this two iterables that is we need to zip so here actually zip zip is nothing but it is a built-in method so it is a built-in function that which will combine the two iterables that is here we have the iterables like a key list and value list so this zip will combine this key list and value list into a combination of tuples so the resultant will look like a list of couples tuples the resultant will looks like list of tuples and when we print the dictionary we get the values like dog bow cat meow cow and more so this is how the dictionary works we using the zip and if you want to see the what is the output of, of this zip so we, i will just print i command this so we'll just look what what's the output uh, whether I, it is a tuple so it will be the list of tuples uh, key value pairs so we get the output as like this and uh, this is the object type so if you cannot intend to list uh, so we will get the list of tuples like this so here we got a list and inside this list we have the tuples separated by commas like key value pairs so by using this zip we will get that and by converting this zip into dictionary we will get the output like dictionary form so this is how the dictionary works by using zip so we can also pass these key and values like tuples also by here only without using zip like uh, we can pass like a list and it in this list we have the tuples and tuples are separated by commas let us take the two tuples and in this tuples we have the keys and values like uh, here we take name and the name is okay. 
and uh, here we take age and the age is like 21 so i comment this too i'll just clear this and when we print it we got the dictionary so this is another way we can also represent the dictionary so this is what also zip works so instead of using this list of tuples we sim we just use that zip so zip is more efficient like we can grab the values from list and combine them and make a dictionary so this is how it works suppose we take dictionary so in this we take So this is a dictionary we took and in this dictionary if you want to get the only keys of these dictionaries like a name and a age so we can use the function like we had a method so that is d dot and the method is keys so when we run it we get the keys so we got the list of keys that is name and age so similarly we can get the list of values like by passing values so if we pass the values we got the bob and 40 these are the values in the dictionaries so if you want to get the items that is both keys and values so we can pass the items and we get the list of values i mean sorry we get the list of items so this is the item and this is the item we go we have give two items so if you want to retrieve the data from this so suppose we will pass in order to get the values like uh, if you want to have the age if you run it we get the age as 40 so if we pass the key like which is not there in it like uh, place so this place is not a keyword that which is not there in this dictionary so the dictionary will when when we run it it will throw an error that is key error so there is a no keyword like place in this dictionary so in order to avoid this error we can use the another method like get so by using this get we can avoid the error so I remove these brackets and so this is how we can get the values this is another way to get the values from the dictionary so here if there is no dictionary place so if there is no key in this dictionary so it just return none so when I run it it throws none so we can also change this default none as passing a message like we separate it by using comma and we pass that as uh, so like uh, we pass a key and value is not found in dictionary so when we run it we get the output as value not found in the dictionary sorry we need to pass this inside this method so when we run it instead of none we will get the value is not found in the dictionary so this is how we get we can use the get so in order to avoid that error and we can also use the in order to update we need to we can use the update method like so we can update the dictionary by using like a d dot update so inside update it accepts another dictionary so that which we need to update the dictionary so let us take color brown so when we print the updated dictionary by using print so when we run it we get the output updated the dictionary like color and brown will be appended at the end of the dictionary and this is how update works so by using this update we can also change the existing data like suppose i kept comma and take the key as name and in this name we pass the 
name as like uh, so when we pass the alice as the name so this alice will be overwritten by this bob that which has already existed name key in this uh, dictionary so when we run it so the bob is replaced by using the alice so this is how the update works we can also append the or insert the like, new items into the dictionary or we can also override the existing keys or that is we can change the values by using the existing keys and we need if you want to copy so as in lists suppose we have the list as one two three four five i had not said this in lists so and this is the list one suppose we take this is list one l1 and l2 is equal to l1 so when you print both list and list one and list two we get the same list like two list like same this one and this one is this both are same so the both lists are same so when we change so suppose i write a code like l1 l2 so we assigned the l1 list to l2 so the new list is l2 so l2 dot append i append like 999 so when we run it this 999 will be appended in l2 list and also l1 list so when we run it so we got 999 in both list so in order to avoid this we just use so here the assigning is uh, so here we appended 999 so this is taking effect on both list 1 and list 2 so in order to if you want to get only in the list that we appended so we can just use dot copy so by using this method so when we run it by using the copy the only copy of the l1 list will be assigned to l2 and there will be no effect by when we append this this new value into the list 2 there will be no effect in this updated list so this is the list 2 in this we got 999 and there will be no 99 in this list 1 and similarly it will be occurs in the dictionary so in dictionaries also we can use copy similarly like we have the dictionary d2 we take d2 and d dot copy so when we run it we get the same this is copy is a function like method so when we run it so we get the output like same dictionary so when we change anything in the dictionary d2 dictionary there will be no effect in d so or else if we simply use this direct d so if we change anything or append or update any dictionary so the values will be accepted in the both dictionaries so next in order to get a element or in order to pop the element from the dictionary so we can use the pop method like pop and in we need to pass the key like name so when we run it the name will be popped from the dictionary so here we need to pass this t dot so when we run it the bob will be popped from the dictionary and if we print the updated dictionary so we just have the dictionary left with age so the dictionary is just left with age and the bob is get popped so by using pop we get the value written by this is uh, something value will be written by using pop similarly we can do the same operation by using delete so delete will not return anything it's just written none. so delete d of we need to pass the key and it is name so when we run it it's just changing the dictionary and the output will be the left with this dictionary so this is how delete works we can see more content or more uh, topics about this dictionaries in the further videos and we can just uh, know more about the dictionaries by using like 
dir or using help so by passing the dictionary class so when i run it we got the what are the methods inside this dictionary so these are the methods we used items get keys pop pop items set defaults update values copy and etc and we can also use help so in this help class also there will be so in this help class we can find this the dictionaries and what can we pass the arguments and all of this total stuff inside it so update values and set defaults items keys so this is how we can know about more and that's it for this video see you in the next video thank you